Hello and welcome to the setup guide for the Faster Forge app developed by me, ApocalypseGU. I will be discussing the simplest setup process I currently know of, briefly touching on what the app does and does not do, in addition to further explaining what some of the information the app asks for is and the risk associated with it. I will also briefly touch on some troubleshooting at the end. Let's get started. Firstly, the tool's main purpose is to facilitate your ability to quickly forge to your desired quality level in as few clicks as possible. It also provides a simplified crafting menu to help users visualize the current crafting recipes in Band of the Wolf and what card they should result in. The tool will not forge from plain to diamond in one click, though I plan to continue working to as closely achieve this as I can. It cannot and will not sign wallet transactions for you at any point. There are some quirks and some actions may appear to not do anything while working in the background, so please have a little patience when using the app. So, what is this refresh token? To put things simply, it allows whoever you provide it to to take actions as if they were logged into your Gods Unchained account. I cannot emphasize enough how careful you should be when inputting this anywhere, and if this scares anyone away from using this tool, that is absolutely okay. Why does this app need it then, you ask? A great question. The app uses it to interact on your behalf with the official Gods Unchained Forge and generate forge requests, which are what you then sign in your browser to complete a forge. Getting the correct refresh token can be a little tricky, but I will walk you through it. Open the official Gods Unchained launcher and log out. Once you are back to the login screen, hold down the control key and press K, after which you can let them both go. You will see this debug window pop up on your screen if you did it correctly. When you log in successfully to the official launcher, GU will send you your numerical GUID and a new refresh token, both of which you'll need to set up and use the Faster Forge app, which you can see in this section of the debug window, uh, clicking on this specific uh, message. You will have to complete this process every time you open the app as it does not remember these things after you close it. If you've successfully entered this information and then accepted the acknowledgement, which I very much hope you read, you will see an all state equals true indicator at step five and the forge plus and craft tabs will become available to use and you're ready to start forging. At this point, I would recommend closing the GU launcher and forging whatever you'd like using the app. When you are done, simply close the Faster Forge app, open the GU launcher, and then log in like you normally would. It will continue looking like it's logging you in after you complete the captcha, as seen here. So you, you need to close the launcher again, and once you open it once more, after logging in, you will see that you have been logged in and you can continue using the launcher as you have in the past. For feedback or troubleshooting the app, you can reach out to me via Discord or Twitter at the Apocalypse GU. To see the app in action, check out my Twitch channel where I've demonstrated it on stream before. For any issues that arise during forging, you are able to retry these forges from the official GU Launcher's Forge History menu. And if that doesn't work, reaching out to the official GU support via a ticket will resolve any problems that you may have. That takes care of it, so thank you for watching and happy forging!